Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about my favorite nude polishes or work appropriate polishes. Now, the reason I wanted to do this video is because I was former military and I still have a lot of friends that are still in the military and now I'm going to be working as a teacher. So I'm a future educator. I'm sure it's not gonna be as big of an issue for me as an educator what nail polish I can wear. So I wanted to do this video for people who are looking for more work appropriate colors, more work appropriate recommendations. Cause a lot of the times in my nail polish favorites, I liked to, I like to wear very bright colors. I like to wear very bright, very bold colors. So I don't really feature a lot of these in my nail polish favorites, but I do have a lot of nude or work appropriate nail polish favorites. So I wanted to dedicate an entire video to it. This is gonna be a little bit long. Sorry if you guys heard that yawn, my, my dog's over there. Hi, Luna. You wanna come say hi? My husky. So again, I wanted to dedicate an entire video to showing or sharing my favorite nail polishes or nude nail polishes. So I'm gonna start from lightest and then I'm gonna go to darkest because I did wanna cover a pretty wide range of skin tones and I feel that nude polishes, finding your perfect nude sometimes is a little difficult because of undertones. So I have some polishes that are a little bit more on like a white base side, some um, very neutral nudes, some pinky nudes, some mauvey nudes, and then some darker nudes, or what I would consider a nude polish. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right into it. So my first category is kind of my more white based nude, so to speak. The first one I have here is from Essie and this is called Sweet Souffle. And as you can see, it's a very bright, almost white based polish. In my opinion, it looks like a pearl on your fingers. This is a little bit more on the sheer side, so it does take three to four coats to be fully opaque, but it has this very pretty shift to it. It's like a gold pearl-like shift. And I think this is one, beautiful for weddings, but two, a very nice light polish that I would consider work appropriate. So the next one has a very similar like base color. This is from Contrary Polish and this is called Sparks. Now it is almost like a crelly base, but I feel like it has a little bit more of a brown or a nude undertone to it than most crellies. And then it has a whole bunch of very fine gold micro glitter in here and flakies. And it also has that pearl-like or that pearlescent shift to it. So I think this is one where it's the glitter in there and the sparkle in there is subtle enough that if you were to look look at it from far away, it would look like a white or a nude nail polish. You know, sometimes you just don't wanna wear a cream polish or a cream base. You want a little, a little bit of a sparkle to it. So the next goes for Deborah Lippman. This one is called Polka Dots and Moonbeams. This is a white or a crowley polish with a whole bunch of little black, matte glitter. So maybe you guys will be able to see that, but they're teeny, teeny, tiny little black matte glitters in this polish. It does have a lot of black glitters, but because it's a crelly base, it kind of tones down those black glitters. So I feel like this is one that you could get away with wearing if you wanted to wear a light or a white nude on your nails. And I, I would still consider it work appropriate. Again, it adds a little something extra than just a plain nude nail polish. And then the last one I have here is going a little bit more into like that nude category and this is called coconut from 90 lacquer and it's this very pretty very light pale nude with a whole bunch of gold I don't even know what to call it maybe you'll be able to see what I'm talking about there but it's very very fine fine glitter that kind of melts into that nude background and again that was coconut from 90 lacquer okay so the next category category, excuse me, I have is more of like a neutral nude. So this is more like a brownie nude, a neutral nude. I have three here that are, I don't wanna say just plain cream ones because I do think that they have something in there that make them a little 
extra, but I have two that are definitely more like glitter polishes. So the first one I have here is from Zoya and this is Zoya's McKenna. It's this beautiful pale neutral nude and it has just a little bit of a silver pearl-like sheen to it. It's barely noticeable on the nails, but I think it's noticeable enough in comparison to just a simple cream polish. So then the next one is Yummy Mummy. This one is from Butter London. And it has a very similar finish, but I think it's a little bit darker than the Zoya polish. So again, I'm giving you different options depending on your skin tone. And then the last one is from China Glaze and it's called I'll Sand By You. And this one has a gold sheen to it, like a gold pearl-like sheen. And I would say it's very similar to the Zoya polish in tones, in terms of tone. So then the next two that I have are definitely more fun, but they do still have that nude, like neutral nude uh, background or undertone. So the first one here is from KB Shimmer, and this is called Shell Shock. And it is a beautiful nude crelly base with a whole bunch of chunky glitter in here. So there is like a copper chunky glitter, a gold holographic chunky glitter, and even a purple chunky glitter. And there's different sizes of them. If you let it sit for a bit, not upside down, um, if you let it sit like normally, those glitters will go down to the bottom. And so when you apply it onto your nails, you're not gonna get as many glitters on your nails if you prefer to wear it that way. So it's just gonna give you a beautiful nude uh, manicure with just a touch of chunky glitter in there. And then of course, if you turn it upside down and let it sit for a while, you're gonna get a lot more glitter on your nails. So the next one is probably one of my favorites because I honestly don't have any other nail polish from this brand. So the brand is called Stella Chroma and I bought this from Polish Con a few years ago. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not from Polish Con, it's from the Polish Pickup, but it's a very similar concept to the one from KB Shimmer. It's this beautiful uh, nude crelly base with a whole bunch of flakies in here. So this has like gold flakies, silver flakies, and then these duochrome flakies in there. But I think because it is a nude crelly, that crelly base kind of helps mask or hide some of those glitters. So my next category is pinks or like pinky nudes. And I only have two to share from you, for you because I personally don't like to wear very light pink or nudie pink nail polishes. I prefer like neutral pinks or mauve or neutral nudes or mauve nudes. So the first one here is from Deborah Lippman. I purchased this because of Miss Holly Berry's because this is her all time favorite pale pink polish. So this is called Teddy Girl from, I'm not Deborah Lippman. Did I say Deborah Lippman? I meant to say Butter London if I did say Deborah Lippman. This is from Butter London. It is this beautiful pale, pale, pale pink nail polish. I would say that if you compare it to another pink, it looks white, but if you compare it to a white, it looks pink. That's how pale it is. So the other one I have to share with you guys is from Illamasqua, and this is a brand that's no longer found at Sephora, but you can still find it online. It's a really, really pretty pale pink. It actually has a little bit of like mauve in it. It has like this chunky, fine, like pearlescent shimmer to it. So absolutely beautiful. I really like the formula of Illamasqua. Illamasqua nail polishes, but I know you do have to purchase it pretty much directly from the Illamasqua website. Or again, I have found this brand several times on Hot Look. And this is the shade Pink Raindrops. Alrighty, so my next category is mauve Nudes. And I'm gonna try to go from like lightest to darkest here. So the first one I have to share with you guys is from Sally Hansen. Uh, this is the Insta Dry line. And this is called Making Mauves or Making Mauves. And it's this beautiful light mauve pink or mauve pink with a pearlescent shimmer to it. So absolutely beautiful. The formula is a little bit thin on this one. It does take me three coats to be fully opaque, but I think it's because it's such a light color. It kind of reminds me of like an Essie nail polish in terms of like formulation of the nude. So the next one I wanna talk about is from Essie. This is Ladylike. This is one of my all time favorite mauve nude polishes to reach for. If I'm ever in the mood or I ever need something that's a little bit more subtle, I definitely reach for this one. Again, this is Essie's Ladylike and I really love the formula of this. This is fully opaque on me in just two coat. It is a beautiful, 
mauve nude cream polish so there's no shimmer no glitter nothing in it so the next one is also just a cream this is Deborah Lippmann's She Wolf and this one definitely has a little bit more brown to it so in comparison to Ladylike you guys might be able to see the difference definitely has a little bit more brown to it but it's still in the mauve category Deborah Lippmann is just well known for having very nice formulas on her cream polishes and I think this is no exception. This is fully opaque on me in almost one coat. Which I know Deborah Lemon is a little bit more on the expensive side but she's always doing flash sales on her website which is how I got this nail polish because I, I hate to pay so much for just a cream polish but I think this is a beautiful formulation and a beautiful color. So the next one that I have is from Zoya and it is also a very very similar color to Deborah Lipman's uh, She Wolf but this has like a silver sheen to it or a pearl like sheen to it and this is Zoya's Beth. I think the formula is very similar to the Sally Hansen one where it's a little bit more on the sheer side so this is going to take three coats closer to three coats to get fully opaque but I think that the end result is absolutely gorgeous. I really really like these nude polishes with just a soft sheen to it. So again that is Zoya's Beth and then the last one is definitely a darker mauve nude. As you can see, even in comparison to the Deborah Lipman one. But I love this one. If I'm reaching for a darker mauve nude, I reach for this one. I sell Paolo over there. If I'm just reaching for a very standard uh, mauve nude, then I will reach for Essie's uh, Ladylike. And then my last category, I almost hate to call these nudes because of how deep they are. But I still wanted to share them with you because I think these would look very nice on some darker skin tones and when I'm organizing these I kind of classify these as very dark nudes. So the first one is from KL Polish and I'm not sure I know they're doing a clean out or a clear out of the website but this is KL Polish Caramello. It's a very very mustardy color. It is so beautiful. Such a rich color. Beautiful formula. Fully opaque in two coats. So the next one I have to share is also from Contrary Polish and it's a very similar tone. This is kind of like a d dirty or a deepened like mustardy color but this one is jam-packed with a whole bunch of holographic gold micro glitter. It absolutely beautiful fully opaque in just two coats and this one is called Zana Zana Z-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Beautiful polish from Contrary Polish and then the next two are kind of like my pumpkin-y colors. The first one is from KB Shimmer and it's Oh My Gourd. Let me show you this in comparison to the KL Polish one. On camera hopefully you can it picks up the difference but this one definitely has a little bit more like orange to it than the KL Polish does. This one is absolutely beautiful fully opaque in just two coats. It is just a cream polish but it is a beautiful color and I think it's a very unique color. And then the last one I have to share definitely has is a little bit brighter has a little bit more yellow a little bit more orange and this is from Essie and it's called Fall for NYC and again it's just a cream polish no glitter nothing like that. So I really like the formula of this as well. This is fully opaque on me in just two coats three coats depending on your application but for mo for the most part I'm able to get that fully opaque in just two coats so that is it those are my favorite nude polishes or work appropriate polishes I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys found it helpful or at least entertaining please give it a thumbs up if you did also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already I try to post three times a week on Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays and then on Sundays I am now posting a plan with me instead of a weekly makeup basket so hopefully I will see you guys in the next one bye